What's happening guys, it's Shane here and today we are gonna be going over the college majors with the lowest unemployment rates. These are gonna be college degrees that when you graduate with them, you are very likely to get a job, you're very unlikely to be unemployed. This is gonna be a very quick video and we are gonna jump right into it right after you gently tap that like button and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Also, just because you may not see a degree you're interested in on this list doesn't necessarily mean it's not good in general and also even if a degree does have a high unemployment rate in certain circumstances it can still be a good choice it really just depends on the person and you can find out if you are choosing the right degree for you by checking out my college 101 course down in the description below for a limited time we are going to be giving a small percentage discount on the coupon code but anyways let's jump right into it first of all let's break down the different types of degrees so you've basically got associate bachelor, master's, doctorate, and then also you have professional degrees. Sometimes professional degrees are master's, sometimes they're doctorates. So you see here with an associate's degree, um, of course this is data from 2020, so it may not be the same exact data as now. There's about a 7.1% uh, unemployment rate. For bachelor degrees, 5.5%, which is a huge jump. For master's degrees, 4.1%, pretty big jump there. Professional degrees, 3.1%, and then a small jump from professional to doctoral degree at 2.5%. So basically what this means is the more education you get, the less likely you are to go without a job. Also keep in mind on this list, we're gonna be talking about specific degrees. Uh, sometimes there might be a type of degree where it doesn't have a very good unemployment rate, but with that specific degree, you know, within that type, it does. So according to NCES data, uh, this was from a couple of years back before the whole situation in the world happened. Um, but basically, you know, the degrees that have the lowest unemployment rate are going to be education. So you see education, elementary education, and general education. You also see nursing down there at 1.7%. Uh, electrical engineering 1.9%, finance is 2.1%, and so on and so forth. So, you know, a, a degree like education, for instance, it's not very high paying, but you are pretty much guaranteed to get a job. So that's a good thing. But you see very general uh, degree types on here with the way they, you know, did it, the methodology, uh, general medical and health services, like that could be so many different degrees. So obviously they're bunching a bunch of different ones into one category. Now moving on to the specific degrees, uh, public policy and law is gonna come in at number five. The unemployment rate for this one is 1.7%, very, very low. However, the underemployment rate is about 62.8%. So underemployment is basically where you're either working part-time doing something related to what you studied or you're not working at all in the field that's related to what you actually got your degree in. So that's not very good at all. On top of that, the share of these students who graduate and then go on to get a graduate level degree, so a master's or a doctorate, is 44.8%, which is very high as well. So basically what this tells me is most people who graduate with this degree do end up getting jobs. Many of them have to go to graduate school before they get a job, but a lot of them are not working full time in what they studied. So maybe they're working part time. Number four on the list is going to be general education. The unemployment rate for this one is 1.7%, very, very low. The underemployment rate for this one is 22%, also not bad. And then the share of people who graduate with an education degree that end up getting a master's or a doctorate is 47%. That is on the higher side. I think a big reason so many people do that is because when you graduate with a bachelor's degree. Unfortunately, they don't really pay teachers all that well. And if they get a master's or a doctorate, of course, they get a pay raise. And so that's the reason that a lot of them pursue that. At least that's the way I see it. Number three on the list is going to be another education degree, which is early childhood education. This one also has a 1.7% unemployment rate, very solid. The underemployment rate is gonna be about 19.2%, also not bad at all. And then the share of people who went on to get a graduate degree was on the high side at 38%. Number two on the list is going to be medical technicians. Medical careers are known for being very stable, so not surprising 
surprised at all to see that one on the list. But the unemployment rate for this one is going to be 1%, super, super low. The underemployment rate, on the other hand, is going to be about 50.9%. So that's on the higher side. That means many people are probably working part time. Then the share of students who graduate and then end up getting a graduate level degree is 24%, which is not too bad. And then number one on the list did come as a surprise to me, but when I looked into it, it made total sense. And that is going to be theology and religion. The unemployment rate for this one is 1%, extremely low. However, the underemployment rate is 46.9% on the higher side. And on top of that, the share of people who have a graduate level degree is 42%, which again, that's pretty high as well. So what this tells me is people who graduate with this degree are very likely to get a job. A lot of the time, it's not gonna have anything to do with what they actually studied, and they're going to have to go back to school in order to get a job. At least they will have to do that a significant amount of the time. So yeah, pretty cool list here, somewhat helpful. I think just because of the fact that it's so specific, it's not gonna be too helpful because a lot of the time people have to apply this to their you know, own circumstances. But if you enjoyed the video, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.